Today I'm doing a glue gun review, so if you're interested, keep watching. I only give my honest opinion. So here's the glue gun. You can see both sides of it. You can see that it has uh, indicator light on the back. You have a high and low, which is 80 and 120 watts. You can use it with or without the cord. It is a full size glue gun. It does have a little drip here and this is pretty common with glue guns. I think the ones I've had in the past anyway, that they will put out a little drip of glue. So just be careful about using those around kids. And so speaking of kids, my daughter had a project she wanted to do and I'm just going to use this to work on her project because it takes a large amount of glue to put these pieces together. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to try it out. So it does put out a very thick line of glue uninterrupted. I didn't notice any bubbling or spitting with the glue. The trigger is very easy to pull. Um, I have small hands and I was able to pull it with no problem whatsoever. It did come with finger protectors in three different sizes that are very easy to put on and they do work if you touch that tip. It is lightweight. It doesn't have a stand to put on it because it sits on the bottom and it is well balanced. It doesn't fall over, which was great because my daughter was right there with me. And it did stay hot when we used it um, as the cordless in the cordless option. So there's that drip again. But like I said, overall with this glue gun, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. I do in just a bit peel the glue residue off the top to show you that it does stick down very well. And so I'm happy with that. I double checked the trigger to make sure that it wasn't still partially down and that that's why it was dripping, but it was not, it was disengaged. And just to show you there what it looks like on the tip. There's a little more of a drip, but now some time had passed by. It had been, I think, two minutes when you saw that stream coming out there and it was on high heat. It doesn't necessarily do that on a lower heat. Very satisfied with the glue itself. It worked fine with this. Now I haven't tried it on metal or glass to see how it works on that, but as far as paper and doing a quick little review here, it worked just fine. I did ask my little girl who is seven years old what her opinion was on this item and she gave it a thumbs up. She let me finish what I was doing and then quite quickly took the project back over as you will see right there. If you're interested, you can find this item on Amazon.com. Thanks for watching.